You got it, you got it. Pull up, pull up, pull up a shot up. You got it, you got it. Pull up a shot up. Yo, what is up? AD Team Austin Dunham back again with another video. Whew. And I'm in the middle of my plan training right now. And I decided to make a video for you guys letting you know three reasons why you still cannot planch yet, all right? I sat down with myself and I'm like, why is planch one of the hardest movements to do? Why do people work towards it and they still can't get it? And why was I able to progress so fast in my planch training? Because after around six months to a year, I was able to hold a decent straddle planche and it's because of these three reasons. So you wanna sit down and watch all the points in this video, take notes if you have to. Without further ado, let's get into it. All right guys, so reason number one why you cannot planche is because you have weak interior deltoids, all right? Now, when I say interior deltoids, I'm talking about just the front part of your delts. And you notice when you're in a planche, that in your core is one of the main muscles that is gonna be stressed and worked on them all right now also the reason why i say this is because if you notice when i go down into a planche you can't planche doing like this right when you planche you have to lean right and you even see that how far i'm leaning that's nothing but the interior deltoid that is working so with that being said you need to start putting a focus within your anterior delts do some isolation exercises if you have to with dumbbells front raises i know people who've done that with their plant training or pretend these are pretend these are dumbbells real quick they get down like this and they do this movement right here right it's, it's simulating a planche because your arms are straight and you're coming up working your chest and also your interior delts too now personally i never did direct interior delt work i just did a lot of planche leans all right i made a video once upon a time called why no can't planche yes do this and i talk about how important the planche lean is all right the tuck planches the straddle the one leg all that stuff is cool but if you're not able to really build your planche lean strength and really get that lean on into it then simply you're not going to be able to planche right so basically focus on your anterior delt strength along with your other core and all that stuff but just remember in my opinion i feel like that's the number one muscle that you need to strengthen up and build when it comes to planche training right so now let's move on to step number two and the reason why you still cannot planche is because simply you cannot handstand you won't believe how many people I've met who are training the planche, but they haven't even gotten the basic handstand down yet. Now, I'm not saying this because if you do a handstand, you're gonna be able to planche. That's not the case. What I'm saying is the handstand should be within the first progression orders of your static skills, and also when it comes to planche training, right? Basically, if you can't do a handstand, don't even focus on planche training. And the reason why I say this is because the handstand one, build stability in your shoulder muscles and allows you to start going ahead and building body awareness and two it also of course builds the basic foundational strength within your shoulders um, to one hold yourself upside down and two so that you can start working on those same planche muscles within the shoulder and once you get good at the planche it's pretty cool to go from a handstand into a planche like you saw me do at the beginning of the video. When it comes to handstand, you can either learn on parallettes or on the ground. I suggest training both, trying to figure out what works best for you. Point is, aim for at least 20 to 30 seconds of your handstand training. Now, when it comes to this progressional order, I do talk about this within my new training program called Calistatics. And this program is basically my full all-in-one static training program where I teach you how to front lever, back lever, L-sit, elbow lever, planche, handstand, what, whatever basic human flag, right? Whatever static skill that you can think of, this program is gonna teach you how to do it, give you multiple bonuses, and also provide you in-depth workout programs for beginner, intermediate, and advanced involving different workout routines so that you can progress as fast as possible and so that you can stop thinking about what to do when it comes to training, whether you're handstand, front lever, back lever, 
or your plants for that matter. So go ahead and check that out down below if you haven't already. Trust me, hundreds of people have gotten in already and it is the best review program I ever gotten so far out of all the workout programs I have. So check that out down below. All right, so reason number three why you still can't plant yet is because the way you're approaching your training is just off. Now, I'm not saying this is you personally, but a lot of people, they wanna be able to plant, but they don't make it a focus within their training, which is horrible. If you wanna be able to handstand plant or whatever, you have to really want it and you have to focus on it. And as I said before, you gotta have a systematic training program to actually get you there. You can't do like three sets of pseudo planche push-ups or three sets of a tuck planche hold and expect to get a planche in the next month. It's not gonna work that way. You gotta put in the effort, you gotta use the right techniques, use the right form, and you have to be overall consistent. I can't stress this enough, right? Now, there's a lot of different training methods and the stuff you can do to reach that level faster, which I do discuss in the calisthenics program. However, just know that if you're not putting in hours, hours a week of work when it comes to the plant, then simply you don't want it that bad, all right? When I was first learning the plant, I made it a focus in my training. I did dynamics, I did statics, I did pseudo planche push-ups, I did tuck planche holds, I did anything under the sun in order to get my planche as fast as possible. And that's why I was able to achieve it so fast in comparison to everybody else, right? And another huge point is because you train your legs too much. Now I'm just kidding guys, train your legs, don't skip leg day. You'll also be surprised how many people skip leg day in order to get a planche. As you see here, uh, your boy's not skipping leg day. Don't look at the calves though. But I ain't skipping leg day and I can still hold a planche. I can still hold a full planche, shadow planche, and all that stuff. But basically without all the jibber jabber, make it a focus in your training and actually train it, please. Those are the three points as to why you cannot planche yet. Now guys, if you enjoyed this video and you want more like it, be sure to subscribe. Like I said, check out my training programs down below. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.